Beware university campuses. Prepare for the attack of the snowflakes. Spoiled children ready to subvert freedom of speech and democracy. The coddling is coming for you. Hi, my name is Greg Lukianoff. And my name is Jonathan Haidt. We are the co-authors of The Coddling of the American Mind, How Good Intentions and Bad Ideas Are Setting Up a Generation for Failure. We know a lot of you bristle at the word coddling in the title of our book. Frankly, we do too. We didn't like it, and we proposed dozens of other titles, all of which were deemed too boring by our publishers. So we finally relented and let them use the word coddling in the title, even though it barely even appears in the book. So let us explain what we mean by coddling. All we mean is overprotection and how overprotection can have unforeseen negative consequences. That's it. We don't think students today are spoiled. In fact, between student debt and academic competition, they have it pretty rough. And we don't think students are snowflakes. That's a term we both hate and we never use. Also, we are not talking about millennials who we think get a bum rap. This book is not about millennials. It's about the generation born after 1994, which is known as iGen or Gen Z. What we're saying is that students today are having problems. They have much higher rates of anxiety, depression, and suicide than did the millennial generation. Our goal is not to blame anyone. It's to figure out where these terrible mental health outcomes came from and how to raise and educate kids so that they become far more confident and resilient. Our book analyzes six different causal threads, six different processes that have come together to make life harder and to make university campuses more contentious and distrustful for today's college students. We also offer dozens of suggestions for how to improve education from kindergarten through college so that it produces happier, healthier students, better able to thrive in a time of rising political polarization, intensifying online outrage, and declining trust in institutions, including higher education. So, even if you hate the title, we hope you'll give our book a read.